Sunfall here with a guide for Unleash the Doom, which is completing a campaign campaign run on the hardest difficulty. So I have a couple of glitches, but they're uh, one of them specific. It's for the jellyfish that will make it ten times easier to burst. Whereas the other one for Patrick, it works, but it's not the greatest. It's just a little makes it a little bit easier. So this is my second run through, technically. But it's just to show you, so I'm cutting out some things, skipping some things, like I skipped the intro because no one needs to see that, you know how to jump and bash and whatever. And this I just sped up because I just wanted to get to the other thing, but wanted to give you an idea of the difficulty being pretty easy when it comes to these fights. It's just the jellyfish himself that decided they don't want to be easy. And I tried for ages to um, beat the jellyfish and I was having no luck and then eventually I came up with this um, cheese slash glitch for, for him but it's specific on go. So this is the part where it's crunch, make or break. Um, if it, you don't get the specific power up, in my opinion, you should just quit. So in this one, I didn't get it, but it didn't matter because I was just wanted to get to the Patrick thing to show you. So when you talk to to him, he does a bunch of stuff, and then you get the three options of a power up. Now, the option only option I had was fire a volley of projectiles every 12 seconds. This is terrible. You don't want 12 seconds. The projectile you want is the XJ2S Hiccups. It's a seeking projectile every 10 seconds. And if you get lucky during a run like I did, there's another power up you can get for it, which reduces it down to 7 seconds. Now, the actual run of the jellyfish I did, I had an extra life because during this run with the pickups and stuff, I actually happened to be able to get another um, piece or life. Whatever they call it, I don't remember at this present time. But anyway, this is the Patrick fight. And so I'll show you the glitch um, for Patrick. This one is more of a um, glitch. And the weird thing is I've never had... Um, how do you put it? I've never had a problem with the one, this one, until I recorded it. He usually never ever grabs me, but he actually did quite literally grab me just once so basically you want to get on this side over here so the the projectile as I said the, the one that's 12 seconds I did pick just to test that it will work on the jellyfish if you kept if you wanted to use it and it does work for the jellyfish glitch trick but like I said it's not the best so you want to get Patrick over here and then you can just keep hitting him if he gets there, we've got to try and move him back, and of course he's a jerk and takes free shots. But as you can see here, he, the AI doesn't really know what to do. So we can get in at some shots and try and eliminate him. If I had better timing, I would have been able to eliminate him, but I was just trying to rush this to show you guys the glitch that I discovered for Patrick. I like to call it rope a dope. <laughs> now, what can happen sometimes? Um, I think Patrick does it. Here we go. He's never grabbed me before, so yeah, just be careful of that move. Apparently, that grab move. So when he gets stuck here, what you can actually do sometimes? Ah, uh, he's not stuck. Now he is. Okay, so when he gets stuck here, what you can actually do, taunt him if you want, because it's funny, but uh, come over here and boom. If you time it just right, you can get him as he gets up. So this is the jellyfish fight. I've skipped to the um, end to show you the jellyfish um, cheese slash glitch I discovered. And it's pretty simple. In this one, I have the XJ2 projectiles, like I said, and I have them hitting every 7 seconds rather than 10 seconds. It works with 10 seconds, uh, it's just a bit slower. I prefer to make sure, make sure my run had um, less than that. And there's only one move that can hit you, but there's a, like I said, I've literally sourced this out 
really well so that you shouldn't have any problem if your timing's good. So the first move the jellyfish will always do is a slam. And what you want to do is get onto the side here like I have. And when you see the electricity, you want to jump. Whenever he does his slam attack, that's the attack we have to avoid. As you can see here, we jump in the air, avoid the electricity, and we can stay. We only have to hit Y, don't move at all. Here I show you um, trying to attack him, and as you can see, I can't land on the thing as well. Which is very dangerous, you don't want to do that. I was showing you that, so that way you know that you just want to push Y. You don't want to do any other moves. As you can see, I'm still do I'm doing damage to him. It's going to take a while, and by a while, I mean a long while. But this is the glitch slash cheese, and it will make the fight with the jellyfish t fish ten times easier. There's a section in it where you see me basically die. Um, the reason for that is I dropped the controller because I sneezed. But thankfully, I had a second life so I could continue with the glitch. Um, I would recommend you just stay in it, stay safe, and slowly peg away at that health the easy way. Thank you and I hope this is helpful.
get here and not fall under my control that's not right i guess you're just a mistake i will have to correct um uh, huh wow barnacles <laughs> i am more powerful than ever you don't stand a chance finish, finish. 